Good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Saurabh Shom. I'm uh, representing some work that I did along with Frederico uh, at the World Bank. And uh, the topic is the impact of the 14th Finance Commission and the centrally sponsored scheme sharing pattern on health expenditures. So uh, the motivation uh, for this exercise is, uh, is, is like this. There are two major changes that have happened. Uh, firstly, uh, is an increase in untied transfers and a reduction in grants as a result of the 14 Finance Commission recommendations. And uh, uh, the recommendation of the subgroup of Chief Ministers on centrally sponsored schemes, which changed the overall sharing pattern in the centrally sponsored scheme and rationalized the schemes itself. A priori, uh, it is expected that total expenditures uh, will reduce. Uh, now, there are two reasons why this might happen. Firstly, uh, the total pie of grants has reduced. Uh, so even if the sharing pattern changes, uh, we, uh, it is possible that overall spending on health by the centre will decrease. And secondly, uh, the political economy uh, consideration suggests that there is likely to be an increase in expenditures that are more visible in nature, uh, essentially infrastructure, uh, populist schemes, etc. Uh, versus health expenditures, outcomes of which tend to be tend to change over a over a long period and are relatively less visible in the five-year political cycle. So uh, with this backdrop in mind, we uh, ask four questions in this, uh, we try and answer four questions uh, in this presentation. Firstly, uh, how has total government spending on health changed? How has the total expenditure on central health schemes changed? How has state government expenditures on health changed? And are states prioritizing health expenditures by spending more untied funds on health. So uh, what do we expect? So uh, our expectation is that the health expenditures will reduce. Uh, now this is just, uh, just the first expectation and the reason for this is that the total pie of grants is, is decreasing. So even if the sharing pattern changes, uh, we expect that uh, it, it might uh, lead to an incre decrease in the, in the total uh, total health expenditures in, in terms of as, as, as far as grants are concerned. And the second more important question is the political economy uh, suggestion that states uh, are likely to increase expenditure on relatively more visible expenditures such as uh, infrastructure uh, which have a, a shorter uh, keeping the uh, five year political horizon in, 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 in mind compared to health uh, outcomes of which are relatively uh, difficult to change and uh, are often not that visible. So a priori we, we expected that the expenditures on health uh, would decrease at the state level. And then we come to the set of four key questions. Uh, <clears throat> so the impact of these changes. So the first is uh, how has the total government spending on health changed? So total government spending, center, states, uh, unfortunately, we haven't been able to look at the local government, but I, uh, we've taken loans and transfers from the state. So this is all from uh, some of the accounting exercise that had been done by Meeta and uh, Amarnath on a paper a couple of years ago, and I've uh, liberally drawn from it to actually get the data together. So, uh, <clears throat> so the second question is, how is the total expenditure on the central health schemes changed? Now here, uh, we are a little bit of, of, of shaky ground because we just look at the national uh, health mission and use some of the ratios there and I'll talk about the assumptions uh, later during the presentation. The third question is how has the state government expenditures changed as a result of these two changes? And finally, uh, the key question is are states prioritizing health expenditures by spending more of their untied transfers on health? So, uh, so at the aggregate national level, uh, we look at the 14 Finance Commission recommendations, and some of this was also put out in our uh, India Development Update. Uh, so these are just aggregate numbers. So the total uh, tax devolution increased from 32 to 42 percent. Uh, 
representing an increase from an average of 2.8% in the 13th finance commission period to 3.7% uh, in FY 1516. And uh, the channels of transfers were also uh, rationalized and so it's become simpler. Uh, the revenue deficit grants are now more inclusive instead of the non-plan revenue deficits and a lot of the grants have been done away with and uh, this is a general view of how transfer mechanisms or channels have changed. Uh, the other uh, changes were around the uh, CSS sharing pattern. This has already been covered. I'll just go through briefly. So for the core schemes, uh, the sharing pattern for the eight northeastern and three Himalayan states is 90-10. Other states is 60-40. And for optional, it's 80-20 and 50-50. So for the core of the core schemes, uh, the funding pattern is continued. Uh, the important part is that the new funding pattern was implemented in financial year 15-16, whereas the recommendations came out only in October uh, 15. So it's mid-year in 2015-16 when the recommendations came out and they were to be implemented the same year. So at mid-year there is this change which builds in a lot of uh, uncertainty at the state level um, and the central level. And finally to go on the national health, health mission is revised from 75-25 to a 60-40 state uh, sent to share. So as a result of the uh, total transfers, we see this is as a percentage of GDP. We look at the devolution increase by about 1% of GDP. Uh, untied grants, they increase by about 0.1%. Total grants, tied grants decrease by 0.5%. And as a result, the total transfers increase by 0. 6%. So that's the aggregate effect. This is the untied transfers and the percent of untied transfers in total transfers. We see that from FY10 to FY15 in the 13th Finance Commission period, it hovers at an average about 57.3% and then, uh, well, FY16 is, is revised estimates and FY17 is budget estimates. It's, it climbs up to about 75%. We see that the overall uh, transfers haven't really changed much. Uh, so initially it was about 5.9% of GDP, which has gone up to about 6.1. And then uh, the untied has increased from 3.4 to 4.5. Uh, so we see that the overall there's not much change, but there's certainly a shift in the, in the untied component of total grants, total transfers, sorry. And of course I'll correct it for the data and we'll have hopefully more reliable numbers. So aggregate government expenditures on health. Uh, now I have put in 2017 budget estimates here as well just to have an indication uh, but it's really a story between uh, 2015 actuals and 2016 revised estimates. So aggregate expenditures on health have increased uh, from 0 0.9 in FY15 to uh, almost 1% in uh, FY16. So there is an increase of 0.14% of GDP uh, increase in state expenditures which have caused this, this bump. So we have the central expenditures at the bottom which remains largely stable at 0.09 percent. Uh, the grants which is states and union treasuries grants from the, from the center pertaining to health, uh, they actually decrease from 0.16 to 0.14 and uh, state expenditures which excludes these central grants have actually gone up from 0.62 to 0.76. Uh, now, the state's expenditure includes what states are spending on their, of their own free will out of their entire transfers as well as the impact of the sharing pattern because of the increase in their share. So total expenditures on health schemes, now we look at the scheme, uh, they improved as states contribution to the scheme surpassed the reduction in total central health grants. So, uh, so we have the aggregate health scheme expenditures as a percentage of GDP on the left uh, chart. So the blue uh, portion is the uh, scheme expenditures which is given by the center uh, and the gray is the uh, scheme expenditure which the state puts in. So the state's share goes up from 0.05 to 0.08 percent of GDP in aggregate. And then we look at the changes, the same thing on the right hand chart. So total scheme expenditure increases by 0.01 percent. Uh, scheme expenditure of the, of the center reduces by 
0.02% of GDP, whereas the states they increase by more than the reduction that happened because of the reduction in the central grants, they go up by 0.03. Now these are rounded figures, but they are actually not very different. The states expenditures only uh, surpasses the central uh, reduction by only a minor amount. So uh, central expenditures, now here central expenditures we look at centers direct expenditure on health as well as what it gives out as grants. So direct health expenditures by the center remain largely unchanged at 0.09 percent, but uh, central health grants they reduce by 0.03 percent which is almost, uh, it, it's a very negligible uh, decrease, but it's in terms of percentage it's a 15 percent drop in grants between FI15 and FI16. So which goes back to the point that uh, uh, Meeta was making that there is really not much change in how much the centre is spending it on health. So where has this change come from? So uh, in terms of grants, so it's mostly been, uh, there has been a decrease in the grants uh, from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and an increase in the in the grants in Ministry of Ayush. So it, it's, it's a minor increase but given that the that the starting level of grants at the Ministry of Ayush was really low, uh, we see a significant increase in the grants to, to Ayush. But as a percentage GDP, as a share, it's, it's really not much. So, uh, so in aggregate, states did prioritize health by increasing their truly untied health expenditures. Now I'll explain the term truly untied when I go on to the data, uh, the kind of data that we put in and the methodology. Uh, and reduction in total central health grants shares was more than offset by the increase in the state share. So we see that the state's expenditure, including grants, increased by 0.11, that's the right side or the right chart, increased. So this change is between 14-15 uh, and 15-16 uh, revised estimates. I go on to the methodology. So this is where uh, we should be able to look at it more clearly. So total government expenditures on health is by the center central health grants and state expenditures, these have been collected. Uh, total health grants among states have been apportioned based on the share of approved state-wise expenditure on national health mission. Now this is approved and uh, like, like we mentioned, there's a big difference between approvals and actual expenditures. Now I've been uh, trying to get my hands on the, on the actual expenditures. Hopefully it will happen soon. So these <laughs> proportions might, will will become more realistic than what they are right now. So the contribution of the states to NHM uh, from their untied funds have been calculated based on the sharing pattern of the scheme. So 75-25 in the previous one and now 60-40. Uh, and these are considered to be tied expenditures even though they are from the untied pool of centrally transferred schemes because the states have to put this expenditure in towards the uh, and finally, uh, state expenditures over and above the central health grants and the state's mandatory contribution have been defined as truly untied. And these, this truly untied expenditure as a percentage of the GSDP is, is taken as an indicator of to the extent that the state is prioritizing health expenditures. So, so finally, health outcomes, I've, I've done a little uh, chart showing one of the health outcomes with uh, the changes in prioritization of the state. Uh, there are no more statements around it, just a snapshot of how they stand. That's about it. So data. Now uh, data issues, like I said, I've, I've, they're incurred by three uh, tiers of government. Uh, so for the center, I've taken expenditures under budget major heads related to Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Ministry of Ayush. Health expenditures on central and state government employees, largely defense and railways, have not been considered. So this is, I, I, I'm not sure how large this is, but uh, going by uh, the literature that I read, uh, this can be considered. Meeta should be able to tell us a little bit more on, on how, how, how much that should be. So I've taken uh, medical and public health, uh, current and capital, 2210 and 4210, and family welfare, 2210 and 4211. And then grants in aid expenditures from, so th th this data has, uh, has been collected from three, uh, from um, uh, four uh, demand for grants in the union budget. Uh, so I've collected, uh, collated data from there, uh, I think relating to uh, both these ministries. 
And grants in aid expenditures have taken grants in aid to states from uh, 3601 and to union trees under the budget major head 3602. So this is all the data that we have looked at because I was not sure of uh, how the rest of the data would fit in. So grants in aid received for major health scheme, uh, ideally revenue major receipts. So we were trying to first try and see that what is what goes out as 3601, is it captured as 1601 in the revenue statement in the state budgets? But uh, uh, unluckily, not all states present the budget in a similar fashion, so we, we gave that up. So with the absence of this data, we took the approved expenditures, and there are all the shortcomings of the approved expenditure that we discussed. Uh, but what I found was, if you compare the approved expenditures uh, in one year versus the other, there's not much of a relative change. So I assume that, well, this is a big waving of hands. I assume that when, they, when the actual expenditures happen, they would, I mean, each state would slip up by an equal amount, which is, which, or similar amount, which might not be true. So a bit, now, now that we have this data, we were equipped to look at 15 of the states that we could find the data for. I mean, we could find the data for the budgets for. So we found that there is a considerable variation in the total spending on health in states. Uh, this includes central grants. So it's state expenditures and central grants. Uh, but in most of the 15 state considered, it, is, it increased. The exceptions to these were Meghalaya, uh, West Bengal, and Tamil Nadu. So the blue figures are for uh, FI15 actuals and FI16 revised estimates. So central health scheme funding reduced in most states as a result of the reduction in grants. So uh, in this, the red dot is the total change. So if it falls below the, it's, I mean it's, and then the blue is the central funding and uh, the gray is the change in the state's share. So uh, we found that states like Bihar actually even it out completely. And then uh, Meghalaya, which I, I wouldn't consider too seriously because it's a, it's a small state, so there might be a, a, even a small share in the, uh, in, the, in the NHM sharing pattern might be driving these results. Uh, but in most of the poorer states, we find that uh, total uh, change was positive. So Jharkhand, West Bengal, Himachal Pradesh, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh. Uh, whereas, uh, well, Odisha was a little uh, surprising, but Karnataka, uh, Kerala, and MP, of course, uh, was a little. So most last uh, states, with the exception of Tamil Nadu and West Bengal, prioritize. So now this is the truly untied uh, portion of so this is over and above what the contribution was towards the CSS, health CSS. So most of the large states uh, prioritize the health expenditure of spending more from their truly untied funds. Uh, well, we, it's, it's heartening to see uh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bihar, uh, Odisha. But again, we have those three states, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal. And so this is truly untied funds. So what is happening to their... So if you look at the blue bar, it's the change in the in the center state uh, sharing pattern. So uh, so the red dots is the total share, total state expenditure as a share of GSDP. And we see that that declines in, in, in Tamil Nadu. West Bengal states pretty much the same, but there's a minor decline. And in Meghalaya, it declines. And then the blue is the truly untied portion of, of uh, which gives us an idea of how much the state is prioritizing health expenditures in its. So finally, I just uh, ran one of the outcomes against this change in the, in the, in the, or I, I ran one of the outcomes against the priority that the state gives. So that's the change in, in, in how much they are prioritizing health expenditures. And uh, we don't find any correlation here at all. So even if I remove uh, Meghalaya, uh, there's pretty much a very weak correlation there. Uh, well, ideally we would like, but then that's a that's a whole. We were trying to look at outcomes and expenditures uh, about six or seven months ago, and we just hit a wall. So it's been sitting there for some time. So uh, we look at how we can improve this analysis. The first uh, thing is to get the FI16 actual figures. Then we'll have a final picture of what's going on, and then we use actual expenditure data from CSS. Hopefully, I'll get it soon, um, which will then give us a more realistic uh, apportionment of, of grants between the states. And then uh, ideally we want to include water supply and sanitation and nutrition because they have uh, effect on, on health outcomes. 
And finally, the holy grail is to analyze health outcomes against public expenditures. So, thank you. First thing that I wanted to say was where you define your intergovernment transfers. One of the things, one of the thing that you missed was external aided project. It's still a, very much a part of uh, transfers, right? Um, then, um, yeah. So uh, I think uh, in your um, study of the states, you have missed out some of the major states like Rajasthan, UP, Maharashtra. Uh, if that is included, I think it will enrich the enrich the analysis. Then I think I would uh, quote Mita's paper for two of the major uh, results. Um, one is again the uh, use of RE versus actuals and then uh, comparing it over the years, how relevant is that. And second is um, given that mm, uh, states transfer for NHM, allocation for NHM stays the same and um, states have to give a matching uh, transfers for the scheme. So maybe um, though they, they are provided with the untied uh, grants, but they end up, they, those grants tend to be more tied now because uh, their share in some of the schemes have increased. Yes. Yeah. Then, um, so there are three things which affect any um, state um, um, transfer as in so one is uh, your devolution, tax devolution, second is grant. And there's also a horizontal devolution um, effect, share effect, right? There's a formula which um, helps in calculating those effects. Maybe you can look at those uh, shares and see which uh, states have shown a positive change and which negative. Th that may also have an impact on overall funds. Then, um, um, so last thing that you talk about is um, total exp expenditure uh, on health as a percentage of GSDP. For one year, um, what we see is uh, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand uh, showing a high priority on health and other, which are more fiscal sound states are showing low priority. So it may be because of the base effect because their GSDP is so small. So maybe one thing that we can look at is per capita expenditure. If um, so it, it is more related with the outcome, right? So I think uh, we can try that. And yeah, and one, um, just an observation that uh, some of the um, schemes uh, were delinked from the union support, but uh, some of the states who have already invested in those schemes like BRGF and tourist infrastructure and model schools, they will continue um, allocating some fund in those and therefore the pool which is available for other schemes may get reduced. So maybe, it's a, for example, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, um, Bihar, they have some chunk of uh, BRGF and northeastern states have some tourist infrastructure schemes. Maybe we can just have a look at that. Um, that all being said, I think um, the way uh, you have calculated untied, uh, truly untied grant is a very good way to understand the priorities of the states. I think these are the most. Thank you. Uh.